Well, hello there, my fellow Marines. How are you doing today, King Rexy here? And today we're officially done with Ascendar. As you can see, 100% completion on every mission. That means that we're going into a new funny world, which is Aurora Borealis. No, it's just Borealis. Duh. It's not that bold. All right, so we have a little comic here. You can read it if you want. It's not really that important. It's just kind of like why everything is happening. It's not really that interesting, so you can pause the video and, and read it if you want. I already know what's going on. I've played this game numerous times in the past. All right, so mission number one. Let me just check the difficulty real quick. Yes, it is impossible. For a moment, I thought it was veteran for some reason. And we're going to be playing with Darwin because I just want to give this hero one more shot before I probably abandon him because the next missions are not that... Uh, easy. The first one though is pretty easy. Icebreaker. We need to protect our Gnar ally, our G Gar allies, until they reach the the refu the refuge. It should be pretty easy. Also, look at that. That's a pretty cool for wallpaper, I guess. Look at that beautiful art right here. Good job for Byron Height. All right, now we get a little cutscene up in here. You know, these guy, this guy's just destroying everything. This is basically one of the new enemies. So yeah, we, we have new enemies, what a surprise. And they are kind of tanky, you know, they're not super easy to deal with, so let's read what they do. The Ion Trooper. So, they have moderate threat level, so they are, they are not like super annoying to deal with, but if they're in a big group, they can definitely be a threat. They create energy shields, and that's when they die. When, when they, when they, uh, when they die, they, uh, oh my, never mind, <laughs> let me explain it again, so... Basically, whenever you, they get to very low health, there's a delay. And if you don't kill them before this delay, they get a shield and they heal a lot. And if any one of them dies, uh, other units near him are gonna heal off from that. So, he is pretty darn annoying. Also, um, Discord pings again. Why do I forget to do that? Why do I forget to sometimes just disable, uh, put my, you know, Discord up to, um, what, what would you call it? Um, do not disturb. I just forget to do it sometimes. Also, we gotta be careful around these, uh, parts. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's these things. They can be kind of annoying. Uh, basically, uh, let me just see what, what they were called. The vol volatile spores. So, basically, if you click on them and you destroy them, they create a big explosion that damages units, but they also damage everything, so even your allies. So, if your allies just uh, get caught off in that, uh, good luck recovering from it, because their damage is quite severe. Also, Brawler, Brawler, what are you doing? What are you doing? You should be tanking. You're supposed to be the tank. Darwin can tank, but he took a lot of damage somehow. I'm not really sure what caused him to take all that much, all that much damage, but something did. So let's go for this and these. Uh, that one died. Sad. Alright, I'll try to keep him more protected next time, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, maybe I'll go for a Shell Storm because it does give the little Shock Bots. The Shock Bots are, you know, pretty pretty nice to have around. So maybe I'll do that. And the Brawler has a pretty low health, so I may have to put him back or switch him up. Uh, that was a good stun, actually. Good stun from, the, uh, from my guy. Okay, uh, Q in. Uh, let's use an ability. Let's go W. Melt them. Melt them up. Get that. Okay, once Darwin lands, he's gonna stun everybody. Nice. Nice stun. Okay, we may need to use his, uh, roar. Ah, he died already. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, man. Why, why do you have to be so squishy? You're meant to be a tank. What are you doing, bro? I don't know, I'm just confused. Like, Darwin used to be so much better before, but... I don't know what really happened with him, but he just became less relevant as time went by. The good thing is that we got quite a few of these uh, guys um, saved, or the allies that we need to protect. However, this means that more enemies are gonna spawn, because, you know, the mission has to get progressively harder. Okay, let's go full-on Kong mode, just stun everybody, increase our own damage. Pretty nice. The, the stupid thing is that you, you reduce the damage of the enemies that you're fighting off, but... That, but that's not the main problem that I have with it. The problem is that you stun them. And after you stun them, uh, what's really the point of just, um, you know, reducing the damage of the enemies when they're already stunned? It just doesn't make sense to me. I never really understood this decision behind his design, but... Eh, I'm not, I don't work in Ironhide, so I can't really change it. Also, everyone is fighting outside of Vision, so I don't really like it. I'm just gonna move uh, the Brawler 
a little bit closer in. As soon as I said it, he just went for it. Also, you can target these guys, these little octopi, octopi flying monsters, whatever they are. If you target them, um, if you kill enough of them by targeting them, um, basically you're gonna get an achievement. Just, a, just as an FYI. Also, brother, what are you doing? What are you doing, and how is your health? Uh, your health is actually alright. Manageable. Manageable, I would say. Um, as much as I want to go for... Uh, what would you call it? Diplomats? I kind of have to keep the channelers. The brother doesn't do damage, so... It will be a pretty grave mistake if I do. Now, we also have these little structures, which I forgot to read about. The Gar's uh, War Hall. Basically, you can build them, and you can spawn uh, ally units from them. And you can spawn these guys. The Ice Throwers, they are actually kind of decent. They don't do a lot of damage, but their basic attacks stun enemies for a short period of time. And they just walk around the, the base structure. Which is, you know, nice. Let's put Darwin back in the action. Or actually, we need to put them here. We need to put them here. Oh my god. Yeah, the new enemies. New enemies incoming. And yeah, these guys. The new enemies. They are... They are just really annoying. Dar Darwin, run! Run! They're gonna, they're gonna blow up. Okay. He survived. Hey. And yeah, speaking of the new enemy, the Pyron Guard. Long range, attacks over barriers, and bursts into flames on dead. And the thing is that they do fire damage, so they basically do true damage. <laughs> so balanced. So balanced enemies, right? That's like that's like saying uh, 200 years worth of game design in League of Legends is balanced. AKA, it's not. It ain't balanced at all. And the big explosion, and the explosion radius is pretty huge, as you're gonna see with this guy. I mean, look at that. It reached the channeler, somehow. Like, how did you reach the channeler? That just doesn't make sense. Alright, Kong, stun them, stun them, stun them. Brother, please, run away. Brother, you have to run away, man. Oh my god. He is kind of getting melted, but not really. Maybe I can set him back in, but... Uh, I don't feel comfortable doing that without Darwin, though. Now, where should I drop the dropship? Okay, you know what? Uh, screw it. Go back in. Go back in. Uh, channelers, run away! Run away, channelers! Okay, uh, this brother may or may not die. I don't know. Wait. Darwin? Darwin coming in clutch? This brother is dead, though. I don't know. Okay, let's try to stall them out. Stall them out. Stall them out. Uh, brother, please. Survive. Survive somehow. Oh my god. Okay. We kind of have to retreat because uh, our mechas are taking a lot of damage and this one died. Thank god I have this beautiful uh, upgrade where it basically allows uh, the mecha, t the unit that's controlling the mecha to just uh, resp to just stay there. And uh, you just have to wait for a few seconds and then uh, the mecha respawns. But if the unit dies, uh, you don't get the mecha back. So yeah, it's not a lot of fun. Okay, uh, somehow these guys are tanking. I didn't even realize that. Uh, Shellstorm, uh, run away, run away. Darwin, get in there and start melting. Oh, actually, never mind. We're already done. Wow, this mission actually went a little bit faster than faster than I thought. All right then, pretty fast. But yeah, as you can see, towards the end it was kind of intense. Everybody was kind of closing in on our base, but thankfully we beat the mission relatively quickly. And yeah, Darwin may not be the best option for this, but hey, it is what it is. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much a wrap. Alright, the next mission is... Oh yeah, we have a special operation. I don't know which one I'm gonna do for the next time. Probably the operate the special operation, which is this one. We'll see. For now, let's see. What do I want to upgrade? Decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm gonna go for uh, this. This one will be nice. I think. And yeah, guys. Well, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And once again, sorry for the Discord pings. I know, annoying, but sometimes I just forget, man. We're all, we're all humans. We all forget every now and then. And unfortunately, I did for gore for this recording. So, yeah, hopefully it wasn't too annoying for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over and out.